this eye makeup is something. God, but I like it. I feel like I could kill. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pam and today's video is going to be my March Jenga TBR. So we are in March, which is crazy. I feel like the year is going by, well, January was like the longest month ever. <laughs> and February just went by like this, which is crazy. But anyway, I'm really, really excited for March. Um, I have great plans. I'm yeah, I'm just really excited for my March to be out. I really do hope Jenga is gonna be kind with me this month just because I, yeah, I have something planned and I hope it's gonna work. Yeah, so anyway. <laughs> So if you're new here and you don't know what Jenga TBR is, it's a game I created and that I play every single month to see which book and help me pick basically which book I'm going to read for the upcoming month. And I started this back in June 2019, but I only started my YouTube channel on November, around November 2019. So my first Jenga TBR is November 2019. I'm gonna leave my playlist over there, but yeah. First, we're gonna see how I did for February. So these were the books in my February TBR. So An Unkindness of Ghosts for, was for a page number. So I had a amount that I picked in the book that was closest to it on page number. That's what I got. Um, Erasably Tears for, was for a trailer book club. Oh no, my choice of genre book club. Um, Liquid was for a trailer mystery horror that I'm scared to read. The Killing Moon was for a fantasy um, author love. So and from an author that I really, really do enjoy. The Deep was for a uh, my choice of genre again with ends on an even number and and escaping these lotus was for a sci-fi story series and i'm really happy and glad to say that i finished it i completed my february tbr i'm so 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 happy for it so that means i get to have a reward so i have like this wheel reward wheel that i'm gonna that i used last month and um the reward that I got is five picks instead of six. So, so I'm only gonna pick like five wooden prompts on my Jenga instead of six, which I'm really, really happy with. Um, it just helps me to mood read. Like it's just, yeah, it's really great. I'm really, really happy for that. So um, let's get started with the first pick. The first one that I got is green, which is sci-fi, and the prompt is booktubers recommendation. So I have no particular like booktuber in mind, but this book is like well loved, well known, and it's about time that I read it. And that is The Endsman's Tale by Margaret Hatwood. So this is a well loved um, classic, modern classic set in this dystopian world where men, it's a patriarchy, and men are at the top and um, women have different jobs and position in the government. And the handmaids are basically readers. That's all they're here for. And um, I think we're gonna follow like a revolution or something like that. I really, really want to watch the TV show, but you know, I need to read the book first. I'm gonna read this one in March. I'm so, so, so excited for it. I heard amazing things about it. I'm just, yeah, I'm really, really, really excited. Next 
is yellow, which is trailer mystery horror, and the prompt that I got is one word title. So I'm so excited for this one because I have the perfect book in mind. And that is Bunny by Mona Awad. Um, this is like Kayla's over at Books and Lala favorite book or one of her favorite book. And I really trust her opinion, as you might probably know. And I'm just, I'm so, so, so excited to read it. I have absolutely no idea what this is about. The only thing that I know is that there's, it's not real bunnies, like girls who are saying they're bunnies. And it's dark academia. That's all I know. That's what I want to know. I'm really, really excited to read it in March. Um, oh yeah, I'm here for it. Next, I got Orange, which is a nonfiction or classic, and uh, the prompt is adult. Pretty easy. And for that one, um, I think I'm gonna go for a nonfiction. I really love nonfiction, and I got one recently that I really, really, really want to read, and that is Can We All Be Feminist? And this is a short story collection, essays um, about intersectionality identity and the way forward to feminism and it's edited by june eric dory and i'm so excited for this i do consider myself a intersectional feminist so i do believe in the fact that every woman all women in capital letters should be included in feminism it's not only the woman that looks like you you know um, it's every single woman and that's what I'm trying to do and I'm just really really excited to read this I'm I I, I think it's gonna be amazing um, yeah I can't wait <laughs> Next, I got the purple, which is fantasy, and the prompt is color. So I rolled the dice again, and I got blue. So I need a fantasy book with blue on the cover. And for that one, I decided to go with Arusha and the City of Gold. So this is the fourth book in the Pandava series, and by Roshni Chakshi. I really, really loved the first three books. I'm really excited to dive into the fourth one. The fifth one is coming out in April, I think, of this year. So I'm really, really excited to read it. Um, this one obviously has blue and it's a dark blue, like the cover is dark blue. Anyway, I have no idea what this is about, but I'm so excited to be back with the gang. I just love this friendship so much and the magic system and all that so i'm really really excited to read this one and i go through them like so quickly they're so easy to read and they're so fun so i'm really really excited <laughs> And finally, the last prompt, because I only have five prompts to pick for this month, which is great. I got blue, which is my choice of genre, and the prompt is signed. So I need a signed book, basically. And I'm gonna go for another 
Rajni Chakshi book. I'm really, really excited to read it. I heard good things about it. And that is The Gilded Wolves by Rashni Chakshi. So basically, I really, really do enjoy her Metal Grade series, the Pandava series. I really, really, really love it. I read A Star Touch Queen and A Crown of Rush A Crown of Wishes and it's her Mel Grey, um, it's her YA duology, fantasy duology. Hated those books. <laughs> I didn't like them at all. So this is kind of like her second chance for her YA books with me because I love her Mel Grey. Um, if she ever writes like adult, I'm probably going to pick it up. But YA, ten, like the other two are really insta lovey and... I don't know I just didn't like the romance and it was all romance so yeah so this is about a heist a group is gonna do a heist and it's set in Paris that's all I know that's all I want to know I heard great things about it but I'm really intrigued and yes this book is signed it's my Alcrate edition so it's signed so yeah this is a uh, her second chance for me so yeah, so this is the Jenga TBR books that I picked. Um, basically, there's two other books that I would like to get to. And I'm pretty happy that I didn't have another prompt to pick because maybe those two books wouldn't have fit with the prompt. And I would have had to read like an extra book. Yeah, um, the first one is The Shadowed Sun, which is the second book in the Dream Blood duology by N.K. Jemisin. I read The Killing Moon in February, as you saw earlier, and it was okay. <laughs> but I heard that The Shadowed Sun, the sequel, is amazing. So I really, 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 really want to read it. And basically, I'm behind on the Buzzy Bee Book Club. That is um, hosted by Heron. I'm gonna leave her announcements video down below. Yeah, basically, The Killing Moon was supposed to be read in January and The Shadow Sun in February, but I didn't. It was just not possible, so I'm gonna read this one in March. And um, yeah, I'm really, really excited um, because I heard it's really, really superior <laughs> to the first one. So. Yes, yeah, didn't like the first one. And this one is like set many years after the events of the first one. So, and we're following different characters. And so I'm really, really excited to see where their story is going to go. And the last book I want to read in March is The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley. So this is the March book pick for the Literally the Book Club, hosted by, you guessed it, Kayla over at Books and Nala. And um, yeah, I read Raisably Tears, which was for um, was the February pick. The Paris Apartment is the March pick. I'm really, really excited. It's going to be my first Lucy Foley book. I haven't read The Hunting Party or the last the guest list. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about this one. This one, all I know is that we're following a woman that something happened. She wants to escape, so she goes to her brother's apartment in Paris. Is not there currently, and then I think things happen. And yeah, I'm really excited. <laughs> so this is it, guys. <laughs> so this is it, guys. This is my March Jenga TBR. I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, let me know in the comments which book I should start with first for my month. I think. I think I want to go with the Smith Jail, but I'm not sure. Anyway, um, let me know if you have read also any of those books and what you thought of them, as I would like to know. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!